Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with another uh, break of this collection that I bought uh, not long ago. Um, this is the Mixed Years Stars Mixed Years Baseball in Cursive box. I'm not sure what this is all about. It's ripped here. It's taped weirdly. And for some reason, there are some of the stars taped on the top. Now, they are in these sleeves, so at least I can pull them out. So we've got this uh, Ken Griffey Jr. hologram looking one. You can see there. Actually, a cool shot. Uh, home Run All-Stars, Ken Griffey Jr. This is uh, an upper deck, I guess, from some year, but I'm not too familiar with it. All right, so there's one. So we know we get one good one out of there. And we have a Frank Thomas 1993 Fleer, which you can see is all messed up at the top, so they completely blew it when it came, when it comes to uh, keeping this one. This is really messed up. Holy cow. And it's stained back there. Oh, let's just put that one aside. Then we have... Uh, rookie Star Post-1994 Collection Mike Piazza. This is the post-serial collection, I believe. So, it's one I haven't seen before. We have Greg Maddox. For, I don't know what this is. Tops Gold. Oh, Tops Gold. And uh, 93 Tops Gold. This is a different kind of card, though. So, I'm not sure what that's all about. I've not seen that one before, either. And, finally, um, Mariano Rivera. This is Upper Deck, 2003. So there you go, some Hall of Famers to start us off. And let's find out what's inside, because it's what's inside that really counts, right? That's what my mom always told me. All right. Why is this so hard to open? It's unbreakable tape. All right. And... First things first, we have some random cards sitting on top. So we have a Nolan Ryan and Mike Scott. This one has a horribly dinged corner. So too bad because this 1990 Fleer missed cut or off-center cut with stains on it was going to be worth so much otherwise. But I will put that in my personal collection, so that's a good start to it. Mike Piazza, again, dinged corners all over the place. This is like the worst condition collection probably ever. This is an Ozzy Smith 87 tops, and it's wrecked up stained over there i'm just not impressed there's a mike messina bowman 1999 bowman that seems to be in better shape uh larry walker and kirby puckett 92 tops all stars so 93 tops uh prince fielder okay great i don't know how much i care about that uh here's cal ripkin jr 2000 straight games commemorating his 2,000 straight games from 1995, Upper Deck. So that's a, one I haven't seen. I do like these ones that I haven't seen before. That's why I really kind of gravitated towards this collection was that there were some I hadn't seen. This is an action pack, Chan Ho Park. And the action pack's whole thing, if you don't know, is this, they're, they're raised. So you can actually feel, feel it on there. Here's Wade Boggs, Yankee Classics from Upper Deck. This is Paul... Canerco. I don't know who that is, but this is from the classic four sport collection. So I'll put that aside over here. And what is going on here? From the Syracuse Chiefs. It's a franchise gem for the Syracuse Chiefs. Action packed. Alex Gonzalez. I didn't know minor league teams had uh, franchise gems, but it's an interesting card. Um, again, it's just so weird that these are all just floating on top. But, you know, there are a lot of weird things about that collection. Chad Ogia, Topps Gold, 1994 Prospects. So that's good. Roger Maris, obviously a Yankee classic there. Another Topps Gold coming attractions is Carl Everett and Dave Weathers. Then we have Joey Voto. I don't know much about him. 2016. Bowman. Cole Hamels. All right, so there's... All-Star Game, Cole Hamels. I'm familiar with him from the Phillies days. Here's Wade Boggs and 94 Donruss, but like a gold version. This is, oh, is this the uh, special, special edition? Special edition. Again, not terribly familiar with that set, but clearly a spectacular card. And this is actually in good shape too. So, yes, we have some terrible conditioned ones and some good conditioned ones. There's Tony Kubek from that Yankees Classics. And Home Run All-Stars with Barry Bonds. I'm trying to get the 
hologram. There's the hologram for you. So there's that upper deck insert, as well as who's that Bobby Bonilla over here? Mm hmm. Oh, he writes Robert Bonilla, too. That's what's interesting. One of those eight men out cards. This is the Shoeless Joe Jackson from Pacific, right here, from the movie uh, Eight Men Out. And Jerry Coleman, Yankees Classics, and Mark Ferris from the Classic Sports Board. And oh, look at that, Nomar Garcia Parra from his early, early days with Georgia Tech. So that's cool. A pre pro card, Nomar Garcia Parra. So, so far, we're doing pretty well, despite some condition issues. Um, I have no idea what's in here, so I'm really looking forward to just diving in here. I get the feeling that we're going to have some condition issues through, throughout, so. There's Eric Davis. And there, it looks like just a complete, restoring, complete uh, randomness in terms of what's in here. Some 90s tops. Tyson Ross. Some of these, uh, I have, like I said, a blind spot in that kind of certain more modern ranges. So if I'm, if I'm missing something important, please shout it out in the comments. Here's some tops gold from 94. There's Terry Pendleton, Roger Smithberg, Tom Henke, uh, Chuck McElroy, Rob Ducey, Reuter. Uh, yeah, look at a lot of top scores here. Joe Carter, Troy Neal, Eric Davis, Jeff Knight, Sterling Hitchcock. There's Lee Smith, Hall of Famer. Man, he played for every team, it seems like. Let's just take a quick look here, this Hall of Famer. So a lot of time with the Cubs, then with the Red Sox, Cardinals, and Yanks. I guess it's only four teams, but just felt like I saw him in a different uniform every time you see his card. There's Eric Karos, Tops Gold. That's a lot of Tops Gold here, so that's fun. Shout out to uh, Polly Pax. Because you're you, you were striking out on getting those tops of gold, and here I am swimming in them. And coming to attractions, who does Bob Hamlin and Joe Vitiello and Steve Farr, Felix Jose, yeah, just lots of tops of gold. Dave Collins, Tuffy Rhodes. Man, I loved him when he was on the Cubs. Carl Rhodes, Marquise Grissom, Tops Gold for Days. So if you like 90, what is that, 94 Tops Gold, I got some for you. All right, let's keep going here. I think we got a few more Tops Gold before Jeff Conine. Well, there's one of his rookies. Sloan Smith. There's Mo Vaughn. Show or so like. All right. Oh, look at that. We got some hockey, some bad poor shape hockey. We got some basketball here. Doc Rivers. Oh, it's okay. So that's something. Put the hockey and there's some Doc Rivers for basketball. Put him those aside. Who's this? Mickey Morandini for studio. Oh, it's just some bad, bad condition. It seems like all these uh, early 90s tops cards are really just in rough shape. Oh, there's our favorite sweepstakes. And then a random 1981 tops thrown in there. Uh, there's Tory Hunter. Not in the greatest shape, though. Bit Roberts. These are really farm fresh, we like to call it. Todd Frazier. Matt Kemp. Looks like we got some tops big coming up here because I know those cards anywhere. And they are discolored and roughed up. All right, Jose Offerman, J.D. Drew, they're all wrecked up. It's too bad. All right, so we know that is Sammy Sosa. Again, pretty rough shape. There's J.D. Drew. Some more Tops Gold from 94. Thompson. There's Larry Walker and Kirby Puckett again. Rolando Rooms. 
Alex Gonzalez. There's Dave Justice. There's Young. You Darvish. I want to actually save these 91 tops. And we're going to put those aside because, you know, I've been trying to track down what's going on with the glowbacks. So expect a video on that soon. So some 93 tops. Dean Palmer. So we'll probably do maybe half of this box, this video, and then we'll do another video. So there's Chris Sale. Chris Sale Bowman card from 2016. Maybe the White Sox before he came over to the, the Red Sox. Oh, Craig Kimbrell. That's why I know him. Any of these Red Sox players I will know. It's the people outside of that that I won't. So, there's, so yeah, so please take a close look at these and tell me if I'm missing something that I should know about with some of these more modern players. Manny Machado, I know him. Can't say I like him too much, but I know him. <laughs> Albert Pujols. 560 home runs. Look at that. 312 lifetime average. I mean, give me a break. That guy's something else. All right. And back to Okay, and then let's just throw in a 1985 number one draft pick with Al Chambers. Just, this is just so strange. There's a Lee Smith it's a Hall of Famer, but again, all wrecked up. So this is the 1994 Classic Baseball Best, the minor leaguers there, where I just pulled out uh, Derek Jeter out of the first one I, I had, the first box I was looking through. Hojo, Jose, oh, there's the famous Jose Uribe, 1990 Fleer. Uh, famous for all the wrong reasons. Some more tops gold, 93 tops gold, Melito Perez. Here's Merrick Davis, charter member. Charter member, I don't know anything about the charter member cards. I'm gonna have to look that up, charter member. And some more 91 tops, these are, also look, you have a dark, watermark on that one on the hacker field so we'll add that to our study study of 91 tops facts all right some more modern players it's fred lynn it's carlos Baerga. it's almost like 90 fleer i just skipped by because i've seen so many of them michael tucker on this There's Chris Sale again, so that's another good one. These are 2013 Bowman, it looks like. Never seen them before. All right. Yeah, these classic ones are so hard to read. There's Johnny Damon. Hey, look at that. Johnny Damon, who, of course, was pretty big on the Red Sox. Again, that's, the why, that's why I know that name. All right, so those are some of those. And then we've got 91 Tops again. Jack Morris. Quite good. Put those aside, but we'll take a look at these. Yeah, these are all. Just take a quick peek here. These are glowbacks. You can see the iridescence there. So, all right. Some more of these minor league cards. Impact Benji Gill. Who's that? Juan Gonzalez. That home run all star. So this is a nice little subset here we got from Upper Deck. Cecil Fielder. Albert Bell. It's hol I mean, like, there's just good looking cards with the holograms. There's Dave Justice. Mike Piazza. I mean, we're back into the Tops Gold stuff. Gonzalez, 
Trip Cromer. Matt Williams. Juan Gonzalez Gold. That's a good card. And this one, let's see if it's in a good shape. Yeah, it looks like it's all right. Looks like it's good shape, and it's Juan Gonzalez Tops Gold from 1994, so I'll take it. That's nice. There's Paul O'Neill, same thing. Paul O'Neill. After he switched over to the Yankees from the Reds. Jeff Roberts. Mike Greenwell. Lou Whitaker. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do something with those Tops Gold. I'm sure there's something to be done. Somebody would want those. All right. I don't know what that is. Top 10 prospects. So this is a some kind of insert from Upper Deck. Billy Wagner. Trace Thompson. Tony Gwynn. There's a good one. Black Diamond. Black Diamond from Upper Deck in 2000. Man, a career 339 hitter. That is just nuts. Tony Gwynn. So that's a good card. Sean Green. You know, respectable. That's good. Uh, all right, Jimmy Dean Sausages. Bobby Bonilla. I don't know why. So out of all these, like, let's put this one in a plastic sleeve. I'm not sure why they would do that. Here's Slideshow for Fred McGriff. It's kind of weird. It's a, what a weird insert. Why would they do that? Hey, look, Yankee Classic. It's the Empire State Building. That doesn't even make sense. What's that? Jimmy Dean, 92, Jim Abbott. There's Bernie Williams. This is 95 score. Nope, 98 score. Uh, Jim Tomey. There's in the hit list from Donruss. So that's a nice one. Uh, this is Fleer Flair, King Griffey Jr. Uh, looks like we got a little corner problem on this one, you can see. But uh, cool to get a Ken Griffey Jr. Fleer Flair in there. There's Larry Walker on the Rockies for, the, for Donruss. Who is this? Brandon Webb, and I don't know Brandon Webb, but clearly he's doing all right, so I'll have to take a look at that one. <laughs> a Brewer sticker. There's Frank Thomas. Uh, upper Deck, 2003 Upper Deck. So that's a good one. Um, minor League Team Profiles. That's strange, I think. Ray Sanchez. This is a score, one of those gold score ones, gold rush, but like not that rare, so I don't know why they would do that. There's a sweepstakes card. Kenny Rogers that is beat up. Throw that one away. And then minor league gold collection, just the checklist, I guess, from that. So yeah, really interesting, interesting stuff. Uh so it looks like obviously I've got quite a bit more to go through. Despite some um Quite a few condition challenges just some interesting stuff in here though i mean like this whole stack of interesting cards and and whatnot and plus some more 91 tops when you look at so hope you enjoyed it and i'll break through the rest of this on a future video and you can see what's in there see you next time